Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Now, in my opinion, there is a lot of press and mainstream media propaganda that I feel is trying to create an environment of fear in order to bring in more restrictions and lockdowns. Now, whether you agree or disagree with the way things are going, whether you think the actions are merited or a complete overreaction, everybody agrees. They want to be told the truth. They want honesty and clear facts and figures and not programming that tries to persuade you using manipulative techniques and distortions to persuade you to think something is a good idea when maybe it might not be. Now, I talk a lot about UK media. Well, here's a piece of propaganda from Ireland, which is obviously a manipulative piece of programming in order to get the people of Ireland to acquiesce to lockdown rules and restrictions that they are obviously going to put in place in the very near future. It's not just the UK that are piling on the fear through the media. Let's take a look at this. Right, well, first off, a Rona Christmas bauble. I'm sure everyone will be wanting one of these festive beauties to decorate their Christmas tree in December. So here we have a sad child with his mum in a mask and a message asking the country could face a nationwide lockdown at Christmas unless stricter measures are introduced. Basically, we can save Christmas if we all lock down now. Do it for your kids. Do it now for Christmas. And of course, we have the emotive obligatory sad music in the background. What the hell is going on here? Hold on, we have a woman having a Zoom call on a laptop with a child wearing a mask. I mean, you can't pass the virus through a laptop. An over-exaggerated wave, the whole thing is obviously staged with actors. I mean, you've got a Christmas tree in the background. Nobody's got a Christmas tree up now. Somebody came up with this, wrote a script, staged it, got the props, hired the actors. To be honest, I think that's nuts. Um, Christmas is happening whether people want to or not. I think it would be pretty grim, to be honest. It would be a very lonely spot at, Chris- at the Christmas dinner table if I couldn't go and have it with all my family and my siblings and everybody, my- and my 95-year-old mother. At the moment, even, with the current restrictions... Uh... What do you think? Do you think these people have been cherry-picked by any chance, not hearing anybody who doesn't like the idea of a lockdown? We're looking at probably not having my brother home for Christmas. We normally look forward to Christmas, but um, business-wise, but it's not going to be any good this year. We know that. To be honest with you, I can't understand why we're not going into a level five already. Oh, this guy is perfect. He doesn't understand why we haven't gone into a level five already. Maybe this guy should invest in getting a bunker built and take his whole family down there and stay there until 2023, just in case, just in case the Lurgy is still around. The numbers are the way they were going. I mean, not just going to a level five now, lock the country down for four, five weeks, get rid of it, and then we stand a much better chance of beating it. Didn't Ireland, like the UK, lock down everything for about four to five weeks before? Um, if it worked, we wouldn't be in the same situation now. What makes you think if it didn't work before that it will work again now? I prefer to leave things as they are because you never know what might happen if we you know things might improve you have to hope that they're going to improve before Christmas if we all adhere to the rules at the moment now remember we must all adhere to the rules now if we didn't have to go into full lockdown for too long I'd probably do that now if we were guaranteed that things would be looser over Christmas because it is a festival time it'll happen anyway but the looser it is the more people we can meet up with the better especially for people who might be considering traveling over from other countries depending on green lists it'd be nice for them to be able to meet up with friends as well oh well that's sealed it for me i'm convinced it's definitely the best thing to do i think we should be in level five right now is is there a level six we can go to just to make sure So yeah, this is very disrespectful to the people of Ireland to put out this so obvious piece of staged and emotive propaganda, treating them as dummies who can be easily persuaded by sort of emotionally blackmailing them and saying, oh, we need to do this now or Christmas is going to be cancelled. They could they could just put out the facts and the figures opposing opinions and let them make up their own mind. But no, they don't want to seem to do that. 
As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and press the notification bell if you want to be notified in the future when I upload videos.